Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. She's about to lose her mind over there. Because I need to run out to Walgreens really quick to pick up a few things. Ah! Okay, she already knows. She saw my shoes. That's why. Oh no. My work day got so crazy I had to bust out the second laptop. Eve, I'll be quick. I'll be so quick. I love you. This is Eve's dedication to Peter. She's just been here. Also, does anyone else this dog just like randomly bring one piece of food to different areas to eat? Cause like lately I've been finding like one piece of food, just random corners. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I missed something super cool for the car. I'm super bummed. I wish I could have documented it. So I just ordered a Burger King, went to Walgreens, picked up a bunch of the stuff we need um, since we didn't do a trip to all over the weekend. I still gotta do like an actual grocery trip probably tomorrow, if not later today. Um, but I still have more work to do. It's almost five right now. So I'm gonna go home and finish that work, watch more movies, have so much fun. But it is a beautiful, it's 85 and not humid, one bit. But I wanted to show you our speedometer, not a speedometer, our mileage moder, I don't, pedometer, not a, I, what is this thing called that shows how many total miles on your car? Look at how cool that is. 11127.5. That means that 16.4 miles ago, it was 11111.1. Come on! That's cool. Eve apparently loves candy. Sarah's eating sour punch straws, not sour pet straws. But we're going to continue watching Home. This episode is in Austin. Mm hmm. Oh, I also got a Red Bull, but don't tell anybody. See? Ooh, la la. Also, still working on two laptops. Also, 5.37 p.m. I was told I have to drink a gallon of water a day. You should drink five gallons of water a day. Just joking. You know what this is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Spotted. You know, just living our best lives. We're actually gonna... Happy birthday, Animal Kingdom! Have you seen any elephants? Stacy's the best. Yeah, All I want to do in life is meet her. We're gonna go outside since it's so beautiful and take this puppy for a walk. You wanna go outside? Wanna go? Come on! Oh gosh. I'm coming with too, don't worry. We both are. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes we go on walks with Eve and we just let her navigate. Yeah. It's so nice out. It's probably like 75 degrees. The car said 85 and it was this nice. It was a little bit warmer. But yeah, I believe it's like 75. Nothing like celebrating some Earth Day with a walk. Somewhere we've never been before. To Orlando. Well, I think we have been to Orlando. <laughs> the city beautiful. I'm not sure what like this is, but that is Advent Health Hospital across the street. This is Mills. Actually, down the street that way is our doctor's CRM, Center for Reproductive Medicine, where our embryos are stored. And we're just walking while Eve is being carried. One, the camera's shaking because Eve's panting so heavy. Look how beautiful this looks. Look what I found. A helicopter. This is the hospital, Florida, or where I had my surgery. Yeah, Sarah had her endometriosis surgery here, but we don't think we're Sarah's gonna be giving birth here. I know for sure I'm not gonna be giving birth. She's thinking that Whitney Palmer life. That's where our doctor only works. Sarah forgets how buggy this state is. I keep on wanting to like, let's go sit, but Sarah would thrive in like a Pacific Northwest kind of nature, not like. Hey, the insects and bacteria are gonna kill you in nature. Like, like there are ants right here that are like the size of your face. <laughs> yeah, like bigger than your finger. Yeah, so bigger she would thrive. Like, she could deal with the snakes, the ticks, and the bears of the mountains in like Colorado. But all these yeah. little creepy crawlies creepy and crawly. slithering things and water. And I'm just like allergic to 
grass. <laughs> I really do like the nature and the outdoors, but not like it's just a little creepy here. I love it outside. Sorry, I thought there was a bug on me. True. Also, I hear that love bugs are back out. Yeah, definitely. I ran into one the other day. I haven't seen one yet. Alrighty, we are home. We're all tired. It was probably like three miles that we just went on a big walk. Um, but it was really good. We're all drinking some water. And we're gonna watch Thor first, and then our next movie is gonna be Wally for Earth Day. Um the but, credit song is the best. Yeah. Um so yeah, I have really no context. I mean I know who Thor is the character, but I have no idea what the storyline is. Does this one have Loki? Yes. I know Loki. My baby. This is, is Ryan Serhan's Zena. Zena, awkward, you to property tour? slightly awkward, self-vlogged vlog. That's his baby. Him and his wife did IVF. And we actually have her book. Go in here. Go in here. Go in here. Here it is. To the moon and back. That is his wife. Good book. Doing something new today, and we're gonna about to watch, put on Wally, -E, Earth Day, you know, celebrate greatest planet ever, our only planet right now, take care of it. But I've been mentioning I've been having trouble sleeping for weeks now. Um, we haven't been talking about it too much because it's just like the same thing over and over again. Um, but we got melatonin. A lot of you suggested, some of our friends suggested it, so I'm gonna give that a whirl. Don't know how I feel about it, but I need to I need to try something. Even the other day when I went on like I ran that half marathon, I still didn't sleep well. So gotta try it, give it a whirl, see if it helps. Cause homeboy needs some sleep. Alrighty, so we're winding down. We're probably gonna go to bed soon, actually. Let me pause Wally -E real quick. Wally -E is such an underrated Pixar movie and there's barely any dialogue in the first half hour, but it just speaks so such big volumes. Um, and overall is just a really good movie to watch on Earth Day. Um, I don't want to spoil the movie if you haven't seen it, um, but the, the end credit song is one of our favorite Disney songs. But the real reason that I um, wanted to pick up the camera was because we talked about, in yesterday's vlog, we talked about how we wouldn't have Eve, our dog, who is named after Eve, the robot and Wally, -E, um, if we hadn't gone through infertility. Um, and so basically, somebody in the comments had said that they weren't aware of that story. And so I thought I'd tell you that basically Peter and I had moved after um, after our first year of marriage we, we realized that we were struggling to try and have a baby and we had moved to the south side it was right around that time that we realized um, that we were gonna move to Florida that we decided you know we're having trouble having kids we don't own a house um, we were already cynical commuting across you know town to to go to work and whatnot and um we we started looking for jobs in florida in like february of 2017. we didn't move here until july of 2017 and so there was a lot of time in between like the decision to move to florida and actually moving and in that time it's probably some of our lowest points um through our infertility struggles we weren't you guys know how much we like a plan um, but you also might not be aware that we weren't always super aggressive with our treatments and even just like a path of where we wanted to go with trying to build our family and so I think that at that point in time we really we weren't talking to any doctors we weren't having success finding jobs right away like we wanted to find a great job to move down here with um and we just really desired 
some form of life to take care of, to nurture, and to kind of like give us that parental role that we had been craving. Um, And honestly, my little sister, Christina, was a big part of our decision to do that. She's always been a huge animal person. And one weekend we just said like, we're gonna go to the Humane Society and we're gonna go just go look at dogs. And um, so that weekend we went and the Humane Society was working with a pet shop. Basically, when we went to the um, Humane Society, there were not many dogs there at all. And it was because they had been working with this pet shop for special, I don't know exactly what it was. I don't even know if Eve was a part of that deal. But um, we went there we actually took out another dog first. It was a blue French bulldog. And, um, but it was just, you know, it was a pet, a pet shop and it was very expensive. And we were like, you know, we really want one, but we want the right one. And, um, we were about to leave and we actually were like, you know what, let's just take out that, those hyperallergenic little palms. And, um, they brought out Eve and basically it was just like perfect and she was already rowdy and she was already biting at Peter's pants um and it was just a better fit for us overall and we went home with her and so it was always like that time period has always been like a weird time because Peter and I are very solid in our relationship and we're very you have a great relationship with our family and um it was just that like period of time where like things were not going our way and we didn't have a plan of action and Eve kind of became this like light in our life and we were able to have her and take care of her and actually because we worked so much um and my she, little she bit my jeans I, I told that part <laughs> that um Christina and Grant were actually like would go over to our apartment and hang out with her because um we would be gone for long periods of time and she was so little we got her when she was four months old and um she was actually the first being to know that christina was pregnant with violet they took the test at our apartment and um and so she kind of just became like our light in our life and then not long after that peter found his job and we moved down here like three months after we got eve so she made us happy she still makes us happy every moment mm-hmm. she's been super lovable lately I like rub her her face and her ears and then she makes these like <laughs> yeah motions she's been super sweet and she was I mean you could Christine and Grant like once watched her overnight I don't know where we were she was naughty and she was, it was probably tiny. back in the day when we would like stay at the residence in downtown Chicago just for like 30 bucks a night when I worked in there right. and it was great to do for but one she, night but she was so vacations. little then that was when she was like still up in the middle of the night and she it was just like now she'll come to us and look at us like is it bedtime come on yeah let's go yeah so that's the story of our eve and honestly her name couldn't be more perfect because we wanted a disney name but a subtle disney name and then with her personality being like so salty and sweet like she really is just like the robot eve and wally the movie is all about bringing new life through struggles right like about the it's, plant and earth rejuvenating after yeah. years of struggle right honestly like on our um on our instagram page <laughs> on our instagram page this is the last bit whenever i put like a countdown of like when we're gonna see our baby next i always use the light like the plant in the boot from wally because life found its way with us um but yeah, eve, did. eve helped a lot in that journey She's going to be their first babysitter. I think that's actually a Jurassic Park quote. What? Life will find a way. Yeah, I think it is. All right, all right, all right, all right. April 22nd. Happy Earth Day. Ooh, Apache blessing. May you walk gently through the world and know its beauty all days of your life. That is so good. It's good, it's good, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Another day.
Another day, another dollar. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>